I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Zeus, Master of Olympus. This is a city-building game, uh, put out by Impressions Games. Uh, same people who made other historical city-building games, such as Emperor, Rise of the Middle Kingdom, Pharaoh, and probably most famously, the Caesar series, such as Caesar III. Uh, with the exception of Caesar IV, which was actually made by Tilted Mill, the same people who tried to sort of remake the uh, Pharaoh series under Child or Children of the Nile, and uh, who infamously made SimCity societies. So, <laughs> do not judge uh, the Impressions games by those. Tilted Mill just doesn't make very good games. But this is a good one, so let's play it. Call ourselves Gazipolis. Yeah. Gazipolis. Sure. Go with it. Um, <clears throat> now, you can play this game in uh, sandbox modes if you want, but I am going to be playing campaign, and I don't know if I'm going to play all of them. Is it because it's a really long game? But, uh, we'll see. We're gonna start out with Zeus and Europa. And, uh, let's go ahead and start. Follow a cow? The priestess from the Oracle said to follow a cow? A peculiar command, to be sure. But then the priestess is never wrong. She promised that great things would come to the person who follows her cow until it lays down to sleep, and then builds a city on the spot. This person will be able to achieve something that four powerful men failed to achieve, and finally bring Europa back to Greece. The beautiful Europa was abducted years ago by a white bull, and has not been seen since. And thus, the priestess's bovine-centric prophecy came to an end. The cow did not choose a very good spot. She fell asleep a short distance from a hideous multi-headed serpent that purportedly belongs to Ares. The monster is always ravenously hungry, and eats everything that comes near him. Building a city here won't be easy, but the promised reward is irresistible. Okay. Uh, since this is a pretty easy campaign, I think we can do it on mortal. Now, I'm not going to go through the tutorials on how to play this game, but uh, basically, good grief. Did I not turn that down? Yeah, everything's really... For some reason, this game is just incredibly loud, even though I've turned everything down to almost nothing. Anyway, um... Yeah, uh, I'm just not going to explain the game all at once. I'll explain it as I go along. The first thing we need to do, as we saw our objectives, is a population of a thousand. And so we need to do that by putting down some housing. And you can see by the mini-map here, this is a very big, wide-open spot... Um, but, because I have foreknowledge that monster, monsters appear there, and there are wolves up here, we're actually going to build over on this little island over here. And there are wolves over here, but we can avoid it because we've got meadow down here, which is where we will raise livestock, our sheep and goats and whatnot. So, let's go ahead and put down a few houses. Um, I had a layout for buildings that was pretty compact and worked really well. I don't really remember it, though, offhand. So we'll just go ahead and put some down. Let's see, 24 would be 12. That'll be good. So we'll start... Mm, wait a minute. First thing I should actually be doing is extending this road down here, and let's see where's the bridge. Okay, up, oh, gotta clear the trees. Okay. Um, if you have played the Caesar series, this game differs quite a bit. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite in the entire franchise, I think, just because it's I don't know, it just seems more fun. Just the music and the atmosphere. Although, I do really enjoy Emperor. Uh, of course, set in China. Uh, but, 
like Pharaoh and Caesar were just too micro intensive and oh, anyway, let's put down some houses. Um Yeah, that'll work. We can see I think the people come in down here. In the campaign mode, well, in, in all of them, I think, the maps will always start with a road, and that is where your villagers will come in, or your citizens. So, it might be helpful to build your city close to them, but, uh, you know, as I said, since there are going to be monsters that would destroy our cities, we're just going to have to deal with it. I guess we can speed this up. Hydra. Yeah, where's the Hydra? Okay. Hydra's down here on the marble, which is going to be a pain in the butt because we need that to build. But we should shortly get access to a hero. Okay. Let's just make sure that speed is down to 70%. Okay. So, <clears throat> as you can see, everyone's got these little huts and they require food and wool and olive oil to uh, evolve into bigger homes and thus gain more occupants and that's how you build up your uh, population. And to take care of all that you need all these other like industries and uh, food and other things like that. First thing we should put down though uh, is this, uh, what is that, maintenance office because this guy will wander around and make sure people's houses aren't going to burn down which is very important. And we need this fountain, because people need water or else their homes will not evolve. And little guys will come out of these buildings and walk along these roads, and to make sure they walk in the right place, you got these little roadblocks to make sure they don't go waste time wandering elsewhere. So I guess I'll go ahead and start that. And any time now, he should... Yeah, okay, there we go. So, he'll make sure people's houses don't burn down. Um, let's see, what else can I put down right now? People love me. People think I'm the cat's meow. That's great. I should be putting down a few more things, though. Let's see, what do they need? Right away, they need food. So, to do that, we're going to need an agora. We'll just put down a common agora first. Uh to lengthen that. Uh, I guess I can put it over here instead of centering it. It's going to drive some people crazy, but whatever. Okay. Um, well, why don't we just go ahead and put a loop? And that way we can see... This should be long enough. I mean, they don't... These guys don't walk forever. Uh, they will turn around after they've walked a certain distance, but if, say, he comes over here, since he's closer this way, he'll just continue walking this way rather than walk all the way back. And you can take advantage of that uh, in future buildings, and in fact, I plan to do that, because it's essential that your homes have access to everybody in order that they evolve. But right now we need to concern ourselves with food and food distribution. So what can we f grow here? We got wheat farms. Uh, goats will make cheese. And olives will make olive oil. So right now we need wheat, which can only be placed on this meadow stuff. Now, if you place industries and that sort of thing close to homes, it will give you bad aesthetic appeal. And you can see that here in the aesthetics tab. You can click and see it's not very appealing. And that is also essential to getting them to evolve. So, this might actually have been a little premature, putting it over here. But, uh, we'll deal with it. I mean, we've got plenty of pasture. Plenty of meadows. So I could actually put them, like, up here if I really wanted to. But the distance that you put them uh, also affects their travel time to get to where they need to be collected. Um, I don't think we're going to suffer too much if we actually put it close by here. And, um, let's see. No, there's nothing on this part of the shore. Uh, there are also fishing boats. 
and I guess we don't have access to them right now. Let's go ahead and clear the land a bit. Which does cost drachmas, but we're on an easy enough difficulty setting that that's not going to matter too much. So let's go ahead and put a couple farms down. I guess there's no meadow over here. There is over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're also going to need a another maintenance dude. Because I believe farms do burn down. I don't think they do in Emperor. But they do in this game. And we're also going to need a granary. To, uh store the food, which will then be distributed to the Agora. And actually, to go ahead and get that, we should go and put a food vendor here. Right. Okay, now, let's see, I see we've got some trading posts. A pier up here, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Well, I can clear out a shore later to put that on. We don't need that right now. Um, also, it does matter uh, how many industries you've got down because you've only got so many employees. Right now we've only got two unemployed people. Everyone else is busy working in the maintenance office or the fountain. Uh, as soon as I hit unpause, we're going to see that we need 18 here, we need 10 here for each of the farms. I mean, it's going to be a disaster. And... Unfortunately, in Zeus, you cannot turn off a building. Like, you can't put it to sleep. You can in Emperor. They did fix that later on, but right now, we can't. So, we're going to have some... Un or some uh, we're going to need employees. And so we should go ahead and anticipate just increasing that. Um... I guess I could just fill it in there, because I think I can fit everything... Excuse me. Everything in here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And hopefully that will fill in our needs. Now, when you've got over-employment, or rather, under-employment... Well, both, really. Uh, I think it does cause unrest. At least unemployment. High unemployment does, definitely. Um... The, I don't know, being understaffed. There's a number of ways you can change things, like you can change the wage. Uh, higher wages will actually give you more workers, because more people will be like, hey, I want to work. Um, if you've got an overabundance of unemployed people, you can lower the wage, but that will uh, obviously cause unhappiness. The way you deal with unhappiness is by putting a watch post, and that will put a guard who will wander around and stop thieves and all that stuff, but... I think with the difficulty level, and generally the way I play, we won't even need this, because I think I can keep people happy. I mean, right now there's no unrest in the city, so no worries there. I should probably speed this up a bit. <laughs> now, as you can see, the Nemean games, okay, our city doesn't have any contestants, right. Uh, occasionally there will be games that you can send philosophers and athletes and the third one. Actors. Um, you can send them and get rewards, and the rewards you get are actually really nice statues that increase your appeal. What do we got here? Okay. Well, we've got a hundred people, but we're still understaffed. Um, well, why don't we just go ahead and delete one of these then? Okay. Well, we've made a meager harvest, but hopefully that'll be enough to, uh... Yeah, okay, so here she comes. A few people will get food. That'll increase the uh, size of the house. Oh, you can also see, if you just come up to the population, you can see how many people are yet to come and how many homes you have. Like, right now, we can fit 80 more people because these houses are now becoming shacks. So, 
eventually all these people will be coming, and you can keep track of who is coming, and uh, sometimes that's uh, necessary. Yeah. Now, this game was meant for older systems. I think it was meant for Windows 95, in fact, when it came out. And so when I play it on my more modern system, and I go to 100%, everyone runs around like crazy. And there's a few other glitches, a few other bugs this causes um, in animations. Like if we ever see a god, uh, you'll notice that because the animation for the god appearing is very, very slow. I don't know what that's caused by, but okay, so let's see. We need more culture <coughs> for people to come in. And both the philosophy and theater uh, culture buildings require sort of the producer of actors and then a place where they can go to work. The gym, however, does not. Mount Citharian becomes... or Miss Th Citharian becomes hostile. Okay, well, we can go check that out here in the world. Uh, you can trade with people. There is a, a trading aspect and economy in here, and you can ally with people, you can make them your vassals. I think you can make vassals in this game if you conquer people. Anyway, they'll give you tribute. Um, right now I don't think it matters too much. You can also see the shields show their military power, the coins their economic power, but right now we're looking at getting a thousand people. We don't have to worry about any of that right now. Uh, so back to the gymnasium. The gymnasium is a single building and is therefore the cheapest way to get culture right away. Uh, so we'll just put that here. I'll try and speed things up as best I can, uh, because this is actually a rather slow... Okay, now see, we ran out of food. So these houses devolved, and we now have homeless people walking away, which is not good. But we do have... An overabundance of unemployed people as well. So why don't we just go ahead and build another farm and hopefully we won't have that problem. What do these people need? Fleece. So we should get ready for that. Um, where should we put those? Hopefully somewhere away from uh, the wolves because they will eat them. They will also attack the uh, shepherds. I don't really want to build all that industry close to home. I mean, if we look at the appeal, we can see that those buildings are doing okay, but around the granary, it's pretty bad. Eventually, we will... Well, I mean, right now, I guess I could put columns and all that stuff to create a buffer. I'll do that a little bit later, though. Um... You know, why don't we go ahead and actually just put them here? I think I can see, put a carting shed. Yeah, we'll put two carting sheds here. And we'll put a roadblock here. So now the guy's just going to walk back and forth this way. And then we can take all of our sheep. Now, it's sometimes a good idea. In fact, it might be a great idea right now to fence them in with columns because otherwise the sheep are just going to wander everywhere they find this pasture, this meadow. And that might mean they'll end up in here, and you cannot delete sheep. You have to wait until it moves. So... Yeah. Now, if you've got a... like a big space, like if there's a little bit of meadow here, and then regular grass, and then meadow, they will not cross that grass. They will only walk and wander on the meadow. But unfortunately, I plunked my city right down in the middle of all of that. <laughs> oh well. Let's just put them down. Let's stop wasting time. Build a carting shed. I've got one. Just wasn't employed yet. Um, as you build temples to the gods, uh, they will come and take sheep and goats for sacrifices, so you need to watch out and make sure they don't deplete your source of sheep. 
How many more people we got? 142 people. Okay, we're really going to need employees here. A gift of... Oh, crap. Okay, well, let's postpone this gift of olive oil from Argos and build the next necessary building, which is the storehouse. Oh, and there's a sheep in the way. Damn it. Well, why don't we just build it over here, then? Yeah, that's okay. If we look at the uh, storehouse, we can see the various goods and materials it will take. Um, and you can tell them to empty and uh, get. Like, accept means it will take it if it's there. Get means you definitely want it to come here. So, like, if I had another storehouse on the other side of the city, and I actually wanted the resources here so that the Agora would have easier access to them, I would put get here, and then they would start bringing them and stockpiling them here to make sure this storehouse was always full. And that's also useful for empty if you don't want them. Um, right now, though, I think we only need fleece and olive oil, and we want to fill it up half and half. So a maximum of 16 in each. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, which means we're also going to need... Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I jumped the gun. I should have waited for the harvest before I put all those houses down, but no well. As soon as the harvest comes in, we'll have plenty of food. Thank you. That road is not going to be in the right place, is it? No. I'm going to have to... Oh, well. Because I'll need to build a bridge somewhere over here if I want to get at this marble and wood and eventually kill the hydra. All right, all right. So, let's see. July. So, a couple more months. Let's speed this up. Oh, crap. 